What's up, everyone? Last week, we got news that Chinese ride-hailing company DD will delist from the U.S. market. I believe this delisting could spell the end for Chinese stocks on Wall Street. Alibaba, Baidu, JD.com, Neo, and Tencent, will they suffer the same fate? It's looking likely. What sparked the delisting, you may be thinking? Well, on Thursday, the United States Securities and Trade and Exchange Commission finalized rules that would allow it it to delist foreign firms that refuse to open their books to the United States regulators. China has for years rejected U.S. audits of its firms, citing national security issues. Also, tensions between the United States and China are already at a high, as many in the U.S. are calling to ban the Olympics, and the, Ch- and the Chinese continue to threaten uh, Taiwan with military flyovers. So the lack of investment from the United States could really hurt Chinese stocks. Therefore, I believe we see a a significant continuation lower for many many of these Chinese stocks. So just starting off um, with Didi here, um, we broke that $7 support, which uh, Didi had moved off of two times in the past six months. Once we broke that um, support level, we established a put position uh, which worked out very well. Uh, shout, shout out to the Discord if you got in on that alert. Uh, links in the description if you're not in already. I believe DD continues to move lower to around five dollars to the um, over the coming trade sessions. Um, very bill, uh, bearish, um, you know, Chinese stocks obviously for all the reasons I just said. And I do think you know that that group continues to move lower, and you know, names that have broken uh, significant support like DD should really see a significant move lower. So I do think, you know, we get $5 on DD over the next, you know, couple uh, couple weeks. So pretty bearish on DD. So I'll move over to Baidu. Um, for those that don't know, um, Baidu is, you know, practically like the Chinese Google. Um, it's still up over 60% since it's COVID lows, but I do believe there's more downside ahead. Um, Obviously, this is a very interesting company, but unfortunately, because of the Chinese tension and poor technicals, I'm short the stock. Um, Baidu has broken support at 137 and should continue to move lower as we move into the next trading week. I believe we could see a move lower to about 115 relatively quickly. And, um, you know, that's that's pretty conservative because, you know, um, the, the 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 support for this this company is you know out for uh, is you know back back in 2020 so that that's that's pretty long ago obviously when when support is farther out it's a little weaker I'll, I'll talk about that a little more with Baba but yeah so once this you know which once this 137 level is broken which it already has I believe you know more downside is ahead over the next couple of weeks. So I, I do see about a 110, 115, um, yeah, one, 115 uh, Baidu over the next couple of weeks. Obviously, you know, it's, it's going to be dragged down, you know, with uh, the, the whole group of Chinese stocks, unfortunately. It, it's honestly a pretty cool company, Baidu. Uh, they, they got some interesting things going on, but unfortunately, they're just in the wrong jurisdiction and it, it really can't work, um, especially with, with the technicals where they are. So I am not bullish on Baidu. I am actually bearish. I have a short position. So jumping into Baba. So this company is basically like the Chinese Amazon. For those who don't know, it's fallen off a cliff over the past month or so. and It doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon. We broke support at 127. And um, now the, the next support level isn't to 85. And it, it, it's a level all the way back from 2016, which makes it very weak. I was just talking about um, in relation to Baidu about a you know, su- support level that was back in 2020. And I was saying that's weak. 2016 support level, that's a long time ago. That's five years ago. That's that's pretty weak. So I do think, you know, if Bob is lucky, we, we get some su- support at 85 and then, you know, uh, lower, lower, even lower than the 85 could um, very likely happen. So really, really bearish Chinese stocks. Um, obviously, this was a quick video. I wanted to make it quick because I just really just wanted to cover this this one very crucial point about Chinese stocks. And it is the, the, the fact that I think the whole group is moving lower because of tensions that I, that I already stated. So we could see a bounce back, you know, to these breakout levels. But as long as they hold, like, let's say, you know, um, 
uh, Baba comes back to 127 on Monday. You know, it's, it has a almost 10, 10% gain on Monday. You would think, oh, well, downside's over. But no, no, not at all, because this breakdown level has not been reclaimed. This um, new re resistance level is still going to be re resistance if we see a 10% move. So really, I'd be watching for, you know, 130 on Baba. If Baba, you know, holds holds, holds lower than, than 130, then I, I would still be bearish. Obviously, if it trades above 130, I would re reconsider my uh, my position. So, and for, for Baidu, similar here, you know, if let's say Baidu comes up to, oh, well, it, it closed almost at this breakout point. So we really need to see a uh, open lower for, for Baidu. But, you know, if let's say Baidu was able to trade up to 140 and hold that level, I would be a, a little uncomfortable being short Baidu at that point, just technically. Okay. So short um, Baidu and Baba, obviously DD as well. Again, just looking at this $7 uh, breakout, uh, breakdown level. So once we broke out of the $7 level, we moved lower pretty quickly. Obviously, if we trade up, you know, on Monday to $6.50, that would be a pretty big move. It would be almost a 10% move. But we would still be below that breakout level. And it would really even be more of a reason to short as you know, we, we were close to, closer to that level. So really, really bearish in all three of these companies, obviously the group as a whole. And yeah, so very, very bearish Chinese stocks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate it if you watched all the way through. I really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe to the channel to watch my weekly top stocks videos. If you would like to receive my daily alerts on all my portfolio moves, my exits, my entry points, my options, my stock positions, join the Discord, which is linked in, in the, the description below. I wish everyone good luck on the upcoming trading week. Stay informed. Join the Discord if you haven't already. Good luck. Peace.